cosplay is a weird hobby. Hello and welcome to Running With Scissors, our brand new crafting show. I'm Arcady, and if you're familiar with our channel, you'll know that I'm a cosplayer because I mention it almost every week. I've been cosplaying for about eight years and I consider myself a jack of all trades style cosplayer. I do a little bit of everything, props, makeup, sewing, armor, and my style of cosplay ranges all over the place too. I'll put together outfits from what I can find in my closet, I'll bust out armor three days before a convention, and I also do more intricate competition level builds that can take me months to make. Which means, yes, I am an award-winning cosplay national champion, and I also once stapled Velcro to a ball gown so I wouldn't have to sew a zipper into it. I'm versatile, and a lot of my crafting methods are versatile too, which is the point of this series. I'm going to teach you some very accessible crafting techniques that you can use on a wide range of projects and help level up your crafting skills. In my first tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the first step of making armor, making patterns on yourself. We're going to take our three-dimensional limbs and translate them into flat patterns, which you then use as templates to put onto foam or thermal plastics, and you then take those and shape them into armor that custom fits your body. I now specialize in making armor, but this is exactly where I started eight years ago with zero prior crafting knowledge. So it's really a great place to start if you're interested in armor making. You can use this technique to get a basic pattern for pretty much any part of your body. I'm going to start by showing you my favorite type of armor to make though, forearm armor or band braces. I love band braces. I think they're the easiest piece of armor to learn on. They're simple, but very customizable and they're a very common design element in armor. So you will constantly be making band braces. I make like so many band braces, <laughs> so many band braces. This method is incredibly easy. All you need is cling wrap, duct or masking tape, a Sharpie, and a pair of scissors. So let's go to my craft desk. To start, put on your base layer of clothing. When patterning, always wear what you plan to wear under your finished armor. Shirts, pants, and shoes add extra bulk that you want to account for so you can get a more accurate, better fitting piece of armor. Grab your cling wrap and start wrapping your arm up. This is the flexible base of your pattern. You want full coverage so there's no gaps and several layers so it doesn't fall apart. Once you have a good base, grab your duct or masking tape. Either works, it's up to you. I find masking tape a little easier to draw on for the next steps, but duct tape is definitely stronger. Start winding the tape around your arm. Like with the cling wrap, you want full coverage and several layers. This is what holds your pattern together. Be careful not to wrap your tape too tightly. You don't want to cut off your circulation, and compressing your skin too tightly will give you a pattern that's slightly too small. You want your armor to be form-fitting, not skin tight. Once you are thoroughly mummified, you're going to define the shape of your van brace by drawing the edges in marker. It's okay if your edges look a little rough at this stage. What's most important is that your edges are somewhat defined in the design that you want, and you can refine them later. Then add your seam. The seam is how you get your armor on and off, and it also helps curve the armor to your arm. For van braces, the seam is usually placed straight down your inner wrist because it's easiest to hide there. I also draw horizontal lines across my seams. These markers help me match up the sides of the seam to each other so that the armor ends up even. Next, take your scissors and very carefully slide them under your cling wrap near the seam. This is another reason you don't want to wrap yourself too tightly. You need room to safely cut the pattern off of you. Carefully cut straight down the seam and remove your pattern. Also, this exact method is how you template out your upper arms, so you already know how to do those too now. then trim the excess off your edges. And now you have a flat pattern of your arm. Our arms tend not to vary drastically in size and shape, so this pattern should work for both your left arm and your right arm. Arms tend to be a standard cylinder shape, so your flat pattern should fit your forearm or upper arm just fine once it's assembled. It's pretty easy standard fit with not a lot of curves. Legs, however, are a little trickier. Your calf muscle has unique curve to it, so to get form-fitting armor, you have to do a little more advanced pattern making. With cosplay armor, we get curves by adding in more seams. These enable us to gently curve the armor into more unique shapes instead of having it just be one long cylinder. There's several ways to do this, and the exact placement of those seams will depend on the style of armor you're making. I'm going to show you one of the simplest, most commonly used styles though. Once you learn this style, it's easy to build off of it and learn how to do other styles. To start, wrap your leg in cling wrap and tape just like before. 
and mark out your edges. Then we're going to place our seams. One straight down the front, one on the inside of your leg, one on the outside of your leg, and one straight down the back. Then you're going to carefully cut the pattern off of your leg and take it back to your work desk. You'll trim off the excess once again and cut along the seams so that you have four separate pieces. When you put these pieces into foam, connect them to each other and start to gently shape them, you'll see that they have a nice curve that follows the custom shape of your leg. To get even trickier, you can pattern your torso to make breastplates. Torsos have even more curves to think about though, and the added challenge of being really difficult to pattern on yourself. Instead of struggling by yourself, I recommend grabbing a friend to help tape you up and cut you out. Alternatively, grab a dress form that's similar to your measurements. Use the same wrapping technique, mark off your seams where you need your armor to curve, and then cut it out and separate out all your pieces. Regardless of what part of your body you've patterned, save yourself a headache later and label your pieces now. It's easy to lose track of them. I always mark them with what body part they are. I also number mine like one of four, two of four, and so on, so I know exactly how many pieces I have if one goes missing. I also like to use labels like front, outside, or top to help indicate where each template sits in the larger piece. Any shorthand that you recognize works for this. You're the only one who's got to decipher it, so use whatever code you like. I just highly recommend labeling your patterns in some way as you make them. Once you have your pattern, you're able to start thinking about making it into armor. If your armor piece is kind of simple, like this plain van brace, you're able to put it immediately into foam. However, if your armor design is more intricate, I like to trace the pattern onto construction paper first. This lets me work out the design in the correct dimensions before committing to cutting it out of foam. From here, you can tweak the shape, see where details need to go, or make smaller templates out of those details. Once you're happy with those details, then you can cut out the construction paper and use that as a template on top of your foam instead. The nice thing about making patterns of yourself is that once you've made them, they'll last you a while. You can use these primary shapes as the basis for any armor design, and you can easily modify them if your body shape does change slightly. With some simple supplies and clever cutting, you can have custom templates to make entire suits of armor. So go forth. Wrap yourself in masking tape and make entire suits of armor. It's a lot of fun to wear armor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. This is also going to be an ongoing series, so if there's any crafting techniques that you would like to learn more about, feel free to drop me a comment and I might make you a video tutorial about them. You can also keep up with me and the rest of the Mercenaries of Mischief on our Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Arcady, and I will see you next time on Running with Scissors.